a major medical breakthrough approved by the FDA today that will help those who suffer from sickle cell disease, and it could potentially help a lot of people. In fact, one in 365 African American babies is born with sickle cell disease, and one in 13 carries the traits for it. Before today, there was only one cure, and it was a risky one at that. The treatments utilize new gene editing technology to offer a potential cure, and it is groundbreaking medicine and brings hope to millions of people around the world. Here's our news reporter Sandra Buckman. Two years ago, it was hard to imagine 15 year old Johnny Lubin doing this for very long. Born with sickle cell disease, Johnny has been in and out of the hospital his entire life, dealing with bouts of extreme pain and other serious complications. It was kind of hard for me to like do things like have fun and stuff because I'd always have to be worried about if I'd have a pain crisis or not. Until now, the only hope for a cure was a bone marrow transplant. But like more than 80% of patients with sickle cell, Johnny couldn't find a donor. We were desperate. Mm. At that point, we were like, okay, what's going to be next? We thought that we were going to lose him. So he and his family decided to try something that's almost never been done before. I was worrying that I might be, like, get, like, superpowers or something. <laughs> like. Johnny is now one of the first people in the world to have his genes edited using CRISPR to treat his disease. And I'm like, wow, that's... That's pretty cool. <laughs> and scary. And yeah, and freaky. Do you feel like a medical pioneer? I don't know. I feel like I feel like a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> In sickle cell, a genetic mutation causes red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body, to be misshapen like crescents or sickles. They can get stuck in the blood vessels, causing severe pain and decreased oxygen to organs. CRISPR allows you to make a precise cut in DNA, and then the edited cells are returned to the patient. And so far, it has been good enough. 29 out of 30 patients, including Johnny, met the trial's goal, being free from having a pain crisis for at least a year after treatment.